All right, apologies for the delay, folks. Uh, you know how the, how sh the shtick works uh, on this show each week. S something's going to go wrong, but as Vince McMahon once said, nothing can go wrong if it's live. So if you happen to trip up, oh, I meant to do that. That explains your script writing each week. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I can't be the only one um, who's thinking this. Now, this first topic that I'm going to bring uh, to the table, this is news from last year. However, I felt it was important to bring it to the table for this evening because I'm eager to hear your reactions for this. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Steven, I'm posting into the chat section and... A gentleman and ladies, read and weep. What? Oh, I didn't know this. excuse me? I didn't a know about this. A year ago, when they were trying, in loose air quotes, trying to get the dark universe going, The Rock was being eyed to play a modern day interpretation of the Wolfman. He's got the set of pipes to howl at a moon, but at the same time, the way the mummy reboot went, I'm kind of skeptical. <laughs> Again, Did you hear that? Did the dark the universe die? My head hitting the yeah. board. Um, oh, my head. <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, this is from a year ago, but I felt it was important to bring this to the table because here's the thing. Dwayne is a great actor, a uh, phenomenal charismatic entertainer on the screen, in the ring, or just doing voiceovers, what have you. I don't know if he sh should have been the Wolfman for the simple reason the Wolfman, think hairy version of the Hulk. You know, a regular guy turns into a monster. Whereas, let's just not beat about the bush. Uh, the Rock is already built like a brick. Um, you know, what, what would it, it be then? The Rock just becomes like three times his size because the rock at six foot five is already chiseled um as to how much of that is his own uh, i'm not going to go there but uh, several people have made that uh, their thoughts about that on twitter including carlito said uh oh, looks like the rock was taking trend before wrestlemania 29 go go bother carlito he's the one who put the tweet out not me Ooh. I'm just I'm just merely regaling you with what he said, but I'm just gonna go and say this. If this had if let's let's you know if we're gonna use size comparisons, if you had somebody who was the size of Spike Dudley being played the Wolfman where he would get bigger and muscular and more monstrous looking then i'd be able yeah. to buy into that but rock already is already quite muscularly built i'd say this i i, I think they will pull some pull some captain america first avenger shit that they'll like cgi his head onto a frail body like they did with chris evans oh yeah yeah that i did enjoy We have gone way off conversation about The Rock as the Wolfman this evening. <laughs> uh, um, Raiden, where do you weigh in on this? To be honest with you, I thought the Dark Universe thing was dead, but lo and behold, they might be bringing it back. Um, For me... I feel like it's doing too much, especially with the rock. Especially like you said, he's like super chiseled already. So it's like it's he's already Wolfman levels of of ready to do this. Like if they do, they'll just put a lot of prosthetics on him just to make him look like the Wolfman with that with that feature, just like what they did when he played Hercules. 
So, um, I don't think this is gonna work because I feel like you said said if you get like a spike deadly or like a frail person, like who gets pushed around and everything, and then one fable day he gets bitten. Yeah, it will work, but with the rock, eh, I feel like that's doing too much. And the only reason they're doing that is because of name value, and they want to make that cash. So it's, eh, I'm, I'm skeptical. Yeah, yeah, I'd go with that. Uh, when, as ever, we await your two cents. Could be good, could be bad. Even when they're, even when the movie's bad, normally the rock does his damnedest to put on an amazing performance. I'm skeptical because of the Dark Universe from Universal in itself, but who knows? Maybe they might have learned a lesson or two along the way. We can't really say it's as the uh, old adage goes, the proof in the pudding is in the eating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh... Aaron Izzard has just said, like I say, gave up after the Tom Cruise mummy. The Dracula movie was pretty good. Yes, it was. But I felt the mummy yeah. was too cluttered. Oh, uh, ho, ho. As, as someone who saw that, I can attest to that a lot. Um, it, the, it's like I said last year in not only my spoiler-free review, my spoiler review, and uh, when I laid waste to it at the end of year panel last year, it suffered a huge identity crisis because it didn't know what it wanted to be. At least with the the first Stephen Summers movie, it had a clear idea of what it, of what it wanted to be. It would be 30% horror, but the rest of it is a nice blend of comedy, action, and adventure. When I say comedy, not it being the theme of it, think of it as Buffy the Vampire Slayer layers of humor. There's a quick, you know, little quip or a line, and it's just there just to take the edge off things when it gets a little too dark. Because, um, like, for example, you'll see... Uh, Rick O'Connell go to Evie, are you okay? Then you hear John go, answer goes, oh, I don't know, I don't feel too good. It's like, I'm not asking you, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and I know Tom Cruise tried with that movie. He did try, but the material they were feeding him, it was just not up to par, and you got to remember, uh, Robert Orsi was also writing for that movie, so that tells you everything you need to know. Ooh. Yeah, I don't even know who that is. He's the guy who wrote uh, most of the Transformers movies. He wrote uh, most of the movies. Yeah, yeah. But the one he cannot lay... He cannot take credit to, and he's actually somewhat thankful for this... In Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, the line from John Turturro, I am directly beneath the enemy's scrotum, he did not write that. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was Michael Bay. Of course it was. Of course it was. Duh. America. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh... But yeah, uh, Lids, did you say anything about the idea of Rock being the Wolfman, or do you want to uh, lay no, waste I did this? Not. I Go did ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I do. For starters, yeah, the Dark Universe, I thought it was dead. <laughs> I thought, like, after Mummy completely crashed and burned, I thought, yeah, I think we it, it would be a good idea for you guys to stop. But since you're not doing that, yeah, The Rock is not a good fit to be the Wolfman. I'm sorry. Like I again, like you guys have said, I like The Rock. He's a he's a fine actor in his own right. But the role of the Wolfman, it's this to the Incredible Hulk in a sense, or Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, that would yeah. make a lot more sense if it was someone who was a sm a, a slightly bit smaller. If you want to go for an actor that like can pull off like turning into a giant monster, um. I'm going to be a little stupid and say, um, you guys who know who Grant Gustin is, right? He plays oh, the course. Flash on the, on the CW. Mm -hmm. I think he would make a, a decent um, character to play the guy who turns into the Wolfman because 
You think he has like this very like neurotic sense of 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 demeanor in his acting. So I think he would have been a lot better of a pick. Not the rock. I'm sorry. I, I like the guy, but it just doesn't work. I'm sorry. I like I'd like I'd like that. Him or Tom Cavanaugh, aka Harrison Wells, aka reverse flash. Oh uh, I would dig that too. <laughs> um the type of body build you would want, like I say, if we're using uh you know the Bruce Banner uh, body frame uh to go with, you'd need someone who's shaped like Ed Norton. Because yeah, that was yeah, that was the yeah. perfect fit. I mean, it's not to say that Ed Norton, you know, is a is a pushover by any stretch of the imagination. But compare him to the Hulk. It's like David Spade versus Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right? There's no contest. <laughs> <laughs> and for and for context, Arnold in his prime. Just saying. <laughs> That'd be an interesting celebrity death match. <laughs> well, they had David Spade versus Steven Seagal, and. Ooh, that didn't go so well. <laughs> nope. <laughs> didn't Seagull win that one? I believe he did. Uh. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'd have to rewatch it. It's been yeah, a few years. Yeah, it's been a while since season. Yeah, it's been a while since old season old school death match. Uh, that was the good celebrity death match. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 